All right, you ready? No. <laughs> right. So, go. What's the intro? Um, I don't know. You better not have a squinty hat in my videos. <laughs> What's the intro? What we're we doing today? Um. We're doing a. Uh, one. Review. Review. Of some products. Um, on what car? My car. And what products are we using today? Um, the Detail Kitchen. Product. The Detail Kitchen. Where's your face? Right there. Look right there. <laughs> So as you probably heard from the intro there, we're testing some products from the Detail Kitchen. They kindly sent me a few bits to try. So we're going to be testing in order their Palette Cleanser pH Neutral Snow Foam. Their, where are we? The Auto, no, that's not it. No, what am I even talking about? The Secret Ingredient All Purpose Cleaner. I don't know, is it? You're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> so the secret ingredient all-purpose cleaner we don't have a wheel cleaner today so this is going to be a wheel cleaner and also the tire scrubber so we'll get those out of the way before moving on to the paintwork which is this funky double color I don't know if it's green I don't know if it's orange it's a bit of both isn't it mm -hmm. this is their cola car cola infused car shampoo which does smell like cola bottles doesn't it, it smells great yeah okay and then lastly after drying the car off we're going to use gourmet which is their sio2 infused spray on protection so we're looking forward to giving this a try aren't we mm -hmm. this will be your turn to uh, clean my car yeah? yeah all of it yeah the whole thing not the whole thing not the whole <laughs> just a little clip so be help just okay all right let's see how this goes so here's the state of the car before we do anything to it it is not super dirty, but anytime I clean this car, the weather has different ideas for me and the next day it is raining, it's wet, it's filthy and of course living in the countryside, it picks up all the mud off the road and flicks it across the car. You can see it clinging a lot to the back end of the car there, typical hatchback. And it's almost as bad as having a black car, this. Any dark colour will show up the dirt relatively well you can see the tires are grubby that's the side of the car there moving up to the door you can see there's some runs there where water has been pouring off it so it definitely does need a good clean so first up we're using the detail kitchens secret ingredient this is their all-purpose cleaner you can use it neat or you can use it diluted. Now I've gone for neat here just to really take advantage of the cleaning power. I sprayed it onto the tires quite liberally and I'm using this SGCB tire scrubbing brush. You can see the foam is coming out there quite brown. I think there are still some remnants of other tire dressings on there from before. I've also got the large wheel woolly. These wheels do allow for me to get this big tool in there, which is absolutely fantastic. Really good for cleaning your barrels. I'm just going for a low pressure rinse just now. And then we'll go again on the tires because I always want a second hit on the tires to find out if there's any grime left. And that foam didn't come up perfectly white, so there is still some grime in there. I did feel like it needed a third hit. Now applying some more of the APC, this time to the Valet Pro wheel detailing brush. And this is to allow me to get into the faces of the spokes and all around the little interior sections, those cuts in the major five spokes and all around the wheel nuts as well. A much more intricate cleaning. And after a good blast off, the wheel was looking much cleaner, so was the tire. But again, I wanted to check that tire to see if I could get any more dirt out of it. And on the third application, the third scrub down, 
the foam did come up white, so I was then satisfied that it was definitely clean enough. Now Kai's having a turn at the snow foam. This is palette cleanser. What's interesting about this snow foam is not that it's quite a thick foam, but it's about the dwelling time. They state that if you use this at the higher dilution ratios of 100 mil in your snow foam lance or more, you can see up to 25 minutes of dwell time. And as you can see here, it really is clinging to the car. It's not running off quickly. Yes, it's relatively thick, but it's this creamy clinging ability that I really like. The purpose of this is so that you can make sure the car stays wet and lubricated to allow you to go around it with a detailing brush and attack all the dirt traps. Areas that dirt would get caught like window trims, badges, indicators, door handles, all of these things. And there you go, there's a bit of a slow motion. It looks a bit like custard though, doesn't it? It's really, really thick. It's a lovely product. You can use this more diluted to get a thinner foam, but I went with 100 mil in this snow foam lance and 900 mil of water. And this was after 10 minutes of dwell time. And honestly, I didn't know if it was actually ever going to fall off the car on its own. It was sticking everywhere. So if this is your kind of snow foam, you're going to love this. Having a zoom in here, if you have a look at the bubbles, how normally they would travel down the car with gravity, and there, nothing is moving. Nothing at all. So if you want to make sure that you've got a product that's going to dwell for some time, if you're covering over a traffic film remover or a citrus pre-wash, anything like that, or you need time to get around your car with your detailing brush, this is the snow foam for you. I absolutely love it. Now for the rinse off, always rinsing from the bottom up to make sure that we are blasting off the dirt. And also you can see that it's being used as an indicator. You know when you start from the bottom where you've been and where you still need to go. And that was really useful for Kai, but I took over and he jumped on the camera. Bless him, he's doing a good job. Now this is Cola Car. This is the Cola infused car shampoo. It's kind of orange, kind of green. Don't really know what color it is, but we've measured out 20 mil in this little measure here. And it's very thick, you can see there we're having to scoop it out of the measure and it all sinks to the bottom of the bucket so make sure you get your pressure washer down in there and blast it distribute it around the water and then pull it out to get some foam now onto the car here we're using two different noodle wash media I've got a wash pad and Kai has a noodle wash mitt and I could definitely smell the cola. We both mentioned that, that we could smell it while we were working on the car. And also there was good slickness to this shampoo. It was actually a, a very pleasant shampoo to use overall. Having to give Kai a little bit of guidance. He liked to keep going over the same areas, but he was getting stuck in. He was enjoying doing this. And also the suds did remain through the wash. That's something that I am fairly keen on. If a shampoo is going to be sudsy, I want those suds to stay through the period of the wash. I don't want them to disappear quickly. Now, after the rinse off, we are drying the car here with a double sided twisted loop microfiber drying towel. This one happens to be from the Detail Detectives. And then we're using the sealant. This is gourmet and it tells you that you should apply it in horizontal and vertical motions 
and allow it to sit for about 30 seconds before either flipping to a dry side or getting a different towel to buff it off. So Kai's coming in here with a different microfiber and he's buffing. You could definitely feel though after buffing it off there was a slickness to the paint that wasn't there before. I just had to jump in to pick up the bits that Kai was missing. You have to be methodical with products like this. And here I forgot to uh, press record when I applied it to the left side of the bonnet but you can certainly see there's a darkening effect there as I'm buffing this off. So the left side has had gourmet applied to it and the right side hasn't. The right side has just whatever was remaining from a protection product before. A quick mist of water. From this angle it doesn't look like there's a huge difference but just wait until we zoom in and you'll get an idea of the difference in protection. We'll start on the left side, this is the Gourmet Sealant. This is an SI02 infused product and the beads are relatively uniform beads but moving across the line there, that's the side that didn't have any protection applied and had anything left over from before. So you can definitely see there is a difference, much tighter beading going on on the left. I know we shouldn't like beads, but they are always nice to look at. And let's give it a deluge with water here. You can see the right side is grabbing onto that water. It's sheeting very slowly. And the left side, it is doing a combination of sheeting and beading. It wants to get rid of that water fairly quickly. It doesn't allow it to sit like a sheet. It wants to break it up and let it roll away. And this is what we're left with. Clean wheels, clean tires, clean bodywork. There's protection, there's shine and gloss there. It really is looking much, much nicer. And I finished off the whole bonnet with Gourmet and you can see that it's, uh, it's very, very nice looking. Really gives a little bit of extra depth and shine to the car overall. Much happier with it. It's a much nicer looking car than my old one, don't you think? All right, the car's done. It's looking nice and shiny now. Kai, what did you have to say about your review? What did you think of the products? Um, good. <laughs> Let's start with the secret ingredients, all-purpose cleaner. What do you think? It was really good and it smelled really nice. It does smell nice for an all-purpose cleaner. Yeah. It does smell nice and it worked relatively well. Mm -hmm. Right, snow foam. What do you think of the snow foam? Um, it was really thick and it bounced onto my clothes. Yeah, we're both covered in snow foam. Really lovely thick. If you want a long-dwelling snow foam, super thick, doesn't want to get off the car quickly, it's a corker. All right, what did you think of the cola shampoo? Oh, I really liked it because it smells like cola bottles. And you, um, when you put it on the paint, you, you smell cola. Yeah, you can smell it when you're washing the car. So that was really nice. Really, really thick stuff though, wasn't it? And it's two colours, green well, and orange. Yeah, we don't know what colour it is, but I like that. I do like that about it. All right, the sealant. I know you didn't get much of a chance to use the sealant, but what did you think of it? Uh, it <laughs> um, when we put it on the bonnet, we did half the bonnet. And then when we put the water... And it just wanted, when we put it full blast, just wanted to come off. And then when we did full blast for the other side, um, it just wanted to stay. Absolutely right. Yes, so there's definitely good water repellency coming from that. A fairly easy to use product and it did improve the look of the car. It made it darker and shinier and slicker. You could feel it underneath the towel when you're working it. So thank you very much to the guys at Detail Kitchen for sending this up to me for review. If you guys have enjoyed this video, something a little bit different, then please go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And while you're there, make sure you don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video uploads. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I've been Specky. I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>